Hey guys, Stephanie here. I'm just gonna do a real quick review on Caroline Kepnes's You. I really enjoyed this book, and if you've been around booktube long, you have definitely heard of this book. It is everywhere. So the story is about Joe, who works at an independent bookstore in New York. He develops a very unhealthy infatuation with a girl named Beck, who walks into his bookshop one day, and he begins to stalk her which honestly doesn't seem that hard considering she puts her whole life out on Twitter and she also is a very unlikable character. So what's different about this book is that it is told from the perspective of the stalker and it's written in second person to Beck. So when he is writing he is saying you and he is addressing the girl he is infatuated with, Beck. And I think like most people that like this book what they liked about it is Joe. And I know that seems weird because in this story, he's the stalker, but we do get things from his perspective. You know, it's the same way that I found myself rallying behind Amy Dunn and Gone Girl, especially after her diatribe against the myth of the cool girl. You know, I found myself going, yeah! And the same way that Humbert Humbert, his beautiful and eloquent language and his sentences just lull you into this trance where you find yourself agreeing with him and you have to take a step back and ask yourself if you're really agreeing with the logic you know of a predatory pedophile in the same way um you i don't really find myself necessarily agreeing with him or condoning his actions but i just loved him i wanted to hang out with him i loved his acerbic commentary on books and movies and people and i just i loved joe Really, the main driver of this book is Joe and how awesome he is. It is very engaging plot-wise. You want to keep reading. It's a thriller. Um, there's not really any crazy plot twists. I think when you start a stalker book, you know in advance there's only one of maybe three ways this can go down. But I thought it was absolutely amazing. Like I said, I read this in two days, which for me is a really big deal. <laughs> So in the book, Beck has a very small circle of friends who are just unlikable people. And one of these characters is named Peach. And one of my favorite parts of the book were the exchanges between Peach and Joe. The dialogue was just so witty. It was terse. It was full of backhanded compliments and condescension and passive aggressive comments. And I just loved it. That was probably one of my favorite parts of the book was just the exchanges between those two. And whenever they went back and forth, you could really feel the tension and awkwardness in the scene, and I loved it. So this book isn't for everyone. This book obviously is very dark. There's a lot of disturbing content. There's some erotic content. So if any of that stuff bothers you, this is probably not something I would pick up. I know there was people complaining about the language not being as pretty, but... In all seriousness, this was a thriller, and I don't expect thrillers to be on the same level language-wise as literary fiction, because the point of a thriller is to get you to keep reading and compel you to finish the book and find out what happens next, and I thought it really did its job with that. I didn't think the language was terrible, but, you know, there were no beautiful sentences or metaphors that blew my mind, but I'm okay with that. It gave me what I expected out of it, and that's really all I ask in books. So thanks for watching and let me know, did you read you? Did you think it lived up to the hype? Is it on your TBR list, something you want to tackle soon? So thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.